Alright, um, so my um, lesson was on prokaryotic versus eukaryotic cells. Um, I was planning on doing this in front of my class. Um, they were all sent home this week, so um, here I am. Um, so I'm going to pretend as if I was doing this in class. Um, so the first thing I would do is I would have them, um, they have to do a warm-up every day. So this is what their warm-up would be for this day. Um, they're going to explain what type of cell they think yogurt has and what type of cell they think flowers have um, and why they think that. And then um, they're supposed to use prokaryotic or eukaryotic cells. Um, they have done some reading on this prior to this lesson. So, um, <clears throat> you know, they have that prior information. Um, today we're just going to go further into depth. Um, so this would take them about a minute or two while I'm taking roll and all that stuff. Um, so they would answer this question. I would call on a couple of students in order to get their answers um, and their reason why. And then we would actually go into the lesson. So um, so this is their, this is um, a diagram of prokaryotic versus eukaryotic cells. Um, as you can see, prokaryotic are on the left, eukaryotic are on the right. Um, I would explain to them, you know, prokaryotic are smaller, obviously, um, as eukaryotic are larger cells. Um, <clears throat> you can also see that they do both contain DNA, um, but there are some organelles in here that, that the prokaryotic cells do not contain that the eukaryotic cells do. Um, <clears throat> So we would go into that. I would ask them what kind of differences they see, um, what they can tell are some similarities, and what are some differences. Um, and then I would go back to their warm-up question and ask them again what kind of um, cell they think the yogurt has and what kind of cell they think the flower has and see if their answer has changed. So once we go through that, um, I will then go into describing them. So prokaryotic cells um, are obviously the cells that don't have the true nucleus. Um, they also do not have protected DNA. Um, so their, their DNA is not fully separated from the cell membrane. Um, and that causes the chromosomes not to be arranged. Um, so that's the biggest thing you can tell when looking at a cell is if it has a nucleus, it's not a prokaryotic. If it does not have a nucleus, it is prokaryotic cells. Um, so prokaryotic cells also don't have membrane bound organelles. So anything in the membrane, anything um, within that cell membrane, they're not going to have those. Um, they just have the basic, um, basic organelles that are not membrane, um, that, that aren't sitting in the membrane. Um, so an example of prokaryotic cells are bacteria. Um, so this is when I would explain, you know, yogurt is considered a bacteria. Um, it's a good bacteria for your body. Um, there are, there is a difference between good and bad bacteria. Prokaryotic cells are both of those. Um, yogurt is actually good bacteria. Um, so yogurt is a prokaryotic, does have prokaryotic cells. Um, <clears throat> so what does that mean? Um, I would and then ask, call on some students to, to describe what that means. Um, you know, I'd be looking for answers such as they don't have a nucleus, um, they don't have strands of chromosomes, and they don't have membrane-bound organelles. Straight off of this um, PowerPoint. Um, now, I didn't mention this before, but they, they are filling out a guided note sheet that I passed out while they are doing their warm-up. Um, that is what they are doing while I'm going through this. Um, PowerPoint, um, they're filling out that guide note sheet, um, raising their hand if they have questions, you know, making sure they get all the notes from this. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Then I would go on to eukaryotic cells. Um, as opposed to prokaryotic cells, they do have nucleus or nuclei. Um, their DNA is organized into chromosomes and they are separated from the cytoplasm. So those are the three biggest differences um, along with eukaryotic cells having membrane-bound organelles. Um, so these cells are found in animals, plants, fungi, and protists. Um, so after this, I would then go back and ask, refer back to that warm-up, um, what cells are in 
yogurt and what cells are in that back or in that flour. Um, hopefully they'll get the answer right. If not, we will go back, um, describe prokaryotic, and then describe eukaryotic. Um, once again, hopefully we'll get them on the right path. Um, and then I will explain to them um, these other differences. Um, these are some other differences that they can identify prokaryotic cells from. Um, but the biggest ones that we're going to use in class are from the previous slide. Um, <clears throat> so, um, prokaryotic cells lack most of the organelles that are in the cytoplasm. That's what we talk about, the cell, um, the membrane-bound organelles, so they don't have those. Um, they do not contain mitochondria, um, which is a, an organelle that prokaryotic or eukaryotic cells do have, um, but they do contain ribosomes. Um, so these are just some examples of what kind of organelles they do have. Um, so that's some more differences that you can use to tell the difference from. And then their last assignment, um, this is kind of their um, ticket out the door. So as we're um, finishing up the lesson, um, they're finishing up their notes. I'll go back to any slides that they need to catch up notes on. Um, but then I'll explain what a Venn diagram is because this isn't... Um, I did spell the diagram wrong, but um, we haven't done this in class yet, so I would explain what this is. They should know it from previous um, years, but if, if not, it's a refresher. Um, I would explain, you know, it's comparing two, two or more items. The overlapping part is the common things that they have, and then the outside part is what they don't have in common. It's their individual um, characteristics. So then I would explain to them, you know, this is what you're going to do. You're going to create a prokaryotic versus eukaryotic Venn diagram. Um, so I would give them a couple minutes to do that, about 10, 15. They can work with their partner, um, look at their notes, get ideas from that. Then I would go over what I have on this. Um, so I'd ask students for examples of what they have. Um, and then I would make sure that they have what is on my slide. Um, so I would go over prokaryotics is one side, eukaryotics is the other, and then both is in the middle. So prokaryotics obviously don't have a nucleus like we discussed. Excuse me. Um, so if prokaryotics don't have a nucleus and it's not in the common section, what do eukaryotes, eukaryotes have? Hopefully they would answer contain nucleus. Um, so that's just, it's just like the opposite of what is on the other side. Um, so DNA is not protected. So that's what I was saying. They're not. They're um, not connected. They're not fully separated. Uh, so if the DNA is not protected in prokaryotes, is it protected in eukaryotes? The answer hopefully would be yes because it's on the outside, so it's not similar. Um, prokaryotes are simple. They don't have as much organelles or as many organelles, so that makes them a simple um, cell compared to eukaryotes, which are complex, more complex. They have more, more organelles, more responsibility, more things like that. Um, so prokaryotes, you know, we just said they have fewer organelles, whereas eukaryotes have multiple organelles. Um, when we saw the diagram in the beginning of the slide, they were prokaryotes were smaller than eukaryotes. So, you know, eukaryotes are larger. And then talking about what kind of um, organisms contain each. So prokaryotes are bacteria, which is an example of a yogurt. In, this, in that case, it's good bacteria, um, bad or bad, good or bad bacteria are prokaryotes. Um, so we would discuss that. Eukaryotes are in plants and animals, um, as, long as, as well as fungi and protists. Um, we don't go really into depth about that, so I wouldn't put that on this. I wouldn't require them to have it. Um, and then both have DNA, whether it's protected or not, they both contain it. And then they both do have membranes, whether um, they're separated fully or not, um, but they do contain the membrane. So that's it. Um, they would turn this in, turn in their notes, and that would be a lesson. Um, the next day we would come in, review this, and have a review game to go over to make sure that they knew what um, the differences were. So thank you.